Prime Day is a day that's apparently celebrated like some national holiday, yeah? I've seen people all over the internet saying Happy Prime Day like it's Christmas. For those who don't know what the Prime Days are, there are two days, the 16th and 17th of July, where Amazon Prime does a huge sale. If you want to see ridiculous spending sprees of people and want to know why the Prime Days are a bit of a scam and just a marketing stunt, watch to the end of the video, yeah? And I want you to leave me in the comments down below. Have you spent money on Prime Day? And if so, what did you spend it on? And after this video, do you regret it? Also, don't worry about pimples on my face. It's, I just had COVID, so my skin's not gonna be great. Prime Days means everybody just remembered 50 gadgets that they desperately need in their house and cannot buy any time of the year other than these two days. They were made for spending. We got 12% off there, 75% of this one, but why does Amazon do this? See, to understand why this is just a huge marketing stunt and not really beneficial for the customer, you first need to look at what were the prices before? I think the best way to explain what Amazon did is just to show you an example of what Prime Day looks like. Hey, sorry, can you recommend me an air fryer that's not too big and can fit on, on the counter, you know, but it's not low quality at the same time? Yes, give me one second, please. Just new in stock, this marvelous, marvelous air fryer for only $50. This can fry everything and is also kind to your wallet. This air fryer is something you definitely don't want to miss out on. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, $50 is all right. I will take that. Thank you. Sorry, I've, I've seen a lot on, on social media about this air fryer and this should be a great addition to your kitchen and I was wondering if you had any good air fryers that are not too big so they can fit on the counter but are not too low quality either. Do you have any? Oh, glad you asked. Of course. This air fryer is the best air fryer in the game for only $75. It is yours. It's a steal. Trust me. S wait, $75 you say? Well, a friend of mine just bought it two days ago and it says it's only $50. So how come this is $75 now? I said this is a deal you definitely don't want to miss out on. Okay, I'm sorry, I just can't do $75. I will come back when this is on sale. Oh, hi. Can you tell me how much this air fryer that I was interested in last week costs now? Because I see there's a huge red sale sign and I would love to buy it. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer, I got a discount just for you, yeah? See this big discount? The last offer I gave you was a steal of a deal and this is an absolute bargain, so make sure to grab this now because it's only a discount and the next two days only $50 not $75 anymore isn't that great yeah you should definitely take this now thank you so much for this reduced air fryer now $75 was just too much but now you knocked it down to $50 so I can finally get one thank you very much this kind of reduced price only happens once a year yeah prime day baby everything's for sale this is Freakishly hot. I can't lie. It's, it's summer. Why am I wearing this, brother? I'm dying. Yeah, but this is basically how it works. Amazon sells a product, then five, six days before Prime Day, they bump up the prices, and then when it's Prime Day, they say, Oh, I know it's expensive, but we slapped a huge sale on it so you can get it for the price that it was before, but you don't know that because, of course, you don't check. People go on a spending spree like they desperately need. 75 items for their home. I've seen people buying things for their house that are so unnecessary, it's really funny. First are these TV mood lights. They make watching anything so much more fun. Next, my favorite portable phone chargers. You keep them in a dock at home and plug them into your phone anytime for extra juice or take them on the go. We use this wireless cleaning brush all over the house. It has a ton of different cleaning heads and an extendable arm. The iconic Barefoot Dreams blankets are definitely pricey, so the best time to snag them is now. Maybe I'm just too broke for these items, but do you actually need these things? A Barefoot Dreams blanket, yeah, big blanket. $115. $115 for a blanket. I feel like even if you're rich, this ain't a reasonable price for a blanket you should spend, right? Or is it just me? Who the hell gets themselves a blanket for $115? Hey, and don't try to comment about my hair, yeah? I had COVID, I couldn't go. In two days is my barber's appointment, so. Hi everyone, happy Prime Day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nah, saying happy Prime Day is crazy. This this Thanksgiving? 
Is this Christmas? This is Prime Day. You're celebrating Amazon like this, like Santa Claus. Please don't say Happy Prime Day. I don't know why, but that just makes me feel not right. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just me that has a weird taste in their mouth when hearing this. Or maybe it's because I drank orange juice after brushing my teeth. A percent off is just this clothing hamper. I love this one on wheels. If you're looking for a clothing hamper that isn't a complete and total eyesore, this one is the one to go for. It's just gorgeous. Maybe we have two different meanings of the word gorgeous because I don't think that looks good. But that's the thing I'm saying. These are items that if you don't have them already in your house, you don't really need them because why now you're figuring out, oh, you know what I should get? A clothes bin right then. If you don't already have one, that's a big problem, you know, if you need one desperately. Why are you waiting until the prime days? Apart from it's far from gorgeous, it's a bin. Okay? Washing your clothes or drying your clothes and using a clothes bin is pretty important. If you don't already have one or something else. You know, I myself have a laundry basket for it, but if you need this, then you already got this, right? You don't need to buy this now. Hey, but maybe I'm ignorant here. I let people buy what they want to buy. But I'm still gonna roast it a bit. I'm sorry. This is just a channel, yo. I'm, I'm sorry if you don't want to hear that. Uh, stay on but mute the audio or something. I don't know. Give me the watch time, brother. I need this. Another Dyson product offered at 36% off, which is crazy. I love these Dyson purifier fans. It is definitely warm this season. And this is a really great time to snag it, especially at 36% off. Another Dyson product that I paid full price for, I still think is worth the full price quality. Alright, okay, let me buy a thing that I found cool for about $400 real quick. Who got that kind of money lying around just to buy something on Prime Day? That's nothing you just get on the side. And also, I wouldn't recommend this one. I genuinely think, generally speaking, don't buy this purifier. Don't buy anything you see. Let's go to one of the most ridiculous items I've ever seen. And yes, maybe I'm ignorant again, but I feel like that's not normal. I talk about this all the time. You guys know it's been like one of my favorites. I talk about it literally all the time. It is 28% off today. It is the Hatch Alarm Clock, the newer version. It is so aesthetically pleasing. These are perfect. They make great alarm clocks. They have like the sunrise feature. You can sync it to an app on your phone. You can use it as a sound machine. Guess what this alarm clock costs? You're right, it's $150. Who buys an alarm clock? For $150. If I pay $150 for an alarm clock, I better get two people, you know, waking me up, giving me breakfast, massaging me, yeah? You need an alarm clock to wake up. If I get like nice, gentle sounds, I ain't waking up. I'm sleeping, yeah? I need an alarm clock that sounds like this. Wake up, motherfucker. You slept too long. Get your ass out of bed. Get out of bed now. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill your whole family. That's what you need. I'm pretty sure my neighbors think I'm crazy. And my neighbors certainly did hear me. They think I'm going, I'm going, I'm going completely mental. There is a really good possibility that this was just, I'm paying the original price and they jacked up the price and discounted it. I have a feeling that's what happened here. Hate to break it to you, but this is exactly what happened. I got a stud finder because I accidentally drilled into the foundation of one of my walls and not necessarily like a stud, but it was like actually the foundation of my wall that I drilled into by accident. So I'm currently in the process of decorating my home and especially my office. And I thought this would be so cute. To I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to go that route, but what kind of decoration is this, brother? This looks shit. If I see this on a desk, I'm like, brother, ugh. Because that, I, I'm sorry, but hey, this this kind of looks shit. Are, are we not agreeing on this? I did get this. I feel like these kind of look like those things that you scrub off the dead skin on your feet with. Scrub the dead skin of your feet with? Uh, I, I don't know what you use, but that certainly will injure you. I'm gonna open a wound on my foot that will lead to excessive bleeding if I use this. Who thought of that? Who thought, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get this one here and scrape my foot with it. I will not demonstrate that because I actually use this for cooking as every normal person should. My favorite perfume is on Amazon. Blake and Sky 1111. I buy bloat. Everything love wellness. Sunglasses. Beauty of Josine. You know that my doggie is also a lover of Amazon. It's a great harness for dogs. I Awala. This is the superior water bottle. My favorite toothbrush. I got these cute greenish tinted pool cups. Two things, yeah? First, this just feels like such a random mix of everything. I can tell that she went on Amazon, saw a thing, added that to her basket and was like, oh, there's another thing I could buy. Oh, that looks cool as well. No way you had a plan to buy all these things. Second of all, 
Y'all have favorite toothbrushes? Is this is this a thing that you always get the same toothbrush? I always use these toothbrushes. Nine out of ten dentists recommend because let's let's be honest. Always that one dentist who's called lacking, yeah? Nine out of ten dentists are like, yeah, that's a great toothbrush. Tenth one is like, I would rather jump out of the window of the 12th story building than to taste this toothbrush again. Look, I'm not out here just buying things for myself. I got Lincoln his first baby chair. I cannot wait till he starts eating. It's gonna be the cutest thing. Brother, are you good? Why is he so stressed? This baby pays taxes and rent. He is worried about the economy. He is there sitting like, mom, you spend too much. This baby just came home from a 12 hour shift. Why is he so worried? For the most things I can't really say anything about, I can't really banter about the most purchases here on this platform. But, do you really need these things? Are they really necessary? If, if you say you need these things, go buy them. You shouldn't wait until next year to Prime Day to then buy the thing that's basically the same price as before. I feel like people just spend. What do you mean my three piggy banks that I just bought are ne unnecessary? These are things I always needed. Now I can finally get them on Prime Day. You're spending money on things that you don't really need. Oh my god, 32% off. Yes, I can finally get myself 12 packets of baking soda. Make sure to not overspend. That's the message I'm going on. Starting off strong, I ordered an Apple Watch SE second generation. Of course, I also bought one for Austin. I ordered these two little cameras. I got two, I got a pack of two of them. So I ordered these blue light glasses, an upgrade. I ordered these sunglasses. Finally, I ordered this walking pad. Girl, how much money you got lying around? I've never seen a shopping cart that screams. I just saw these things are on sale and I think they're nice. <laughs> Okay, so Prime Day is tomorrow, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to get. Nothing. You don't need anything. Finish what you already have, and pay your credit card. Finally! The voice of reason! I've searched so long for this! Finding reasonable people on TikTok is more rare than finding a shiny Pokemon, you know? You know how long I needed to scroll to find a TikTok like that? Finally, a reasonable person. Back to the spenders though, they're more content for me. Let's be real, you need a new TV. No, I don't, and certainly not from a guy who looks like Ace Ventura, okay? Nothing screams serious businessman more than looking like a Jim Carrey character. 10 top Amazon Prime Day deals. This car jump starter, which can also power up a whole workstation. This self-sealing and self-changing trash can. This really fun go-kart that doubles as a mop. This pool bot that cleans the pool's floors, the walls, and skims the water surface. This charging station for these portable phone chargers that are also on sale. This inflatable bed with the headboard perfect for guests, the world's first expandable suitcase that has a waterproof middle part, this amazing quality portable projector that autocorrects its screen, this electric vacuum sealer which sucks out the oxygen and moisture thereby sealing the jar really well, this adjustable touchscreen monitor which is basically a TV on wheels. What? I'm way too poor to relate to this. Do it look like Scrooge McDuck to you? I've never seen these things in my life. What is that? You just spoke money to me. This is the first time I'm encountering a person speaking money. How rich do you think your viewers are? Who are these videos tailored to? But this wouldn't be an ending without me showing you a random ass clip that has nothing to do with the rest of the video, wouldn't it? People, that's enough internet for today.